Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, I was going to film this yesterday and I did actually film it yesterday but the video quality wasn't great like I'm not 100% happy with my um, favourites for um, August and September but I wanted to get some content out to you so that video wasn't that bad but the blog the, the one that I'm doing today is my blogger mail haul video um, and the video was really poor quality and I just thought I'm going to wait once I'm today and I'll film this quickly before I go. Um, so basically as you guys know being a blogger um, I do get products sent out to me to review um, or I can contact brands and request products for review. Um, so behind me are lots of different products that have been sent out for different reasons um, and I just thought you know a lot of people like watching these I find them really interesting um, and I just thought I would basically show you um, what I've received in the post over the last couple of weeks um, because I'm really throwing myself back into my blogging you know I've hit 15,000 subscribers on Instagram which is absolutely amazing um, I'm nearly 500 on my YouTube now um, I think I might just be 500 anyway which again amazing um, and nearly 500 on Twitter and my everything's just building and I, I'm just I think you know like you guys want content for a reason because you enjoy watching my videos so that's what I want to provide you with um so let's get started I'll go through each um company and show you what they've sent me all right um I'll just turn around because everything's on the bed and I'll obviously pick it up off the bed and show you it um the first company I'll start with this was a lot of as you um I don't know if you know but um a lot of brands use um PR companies to represent them so a lot of the time when you contact a brand you have to actually go through their PR company because that's who represents them and that's who decides um whether the samples are sent out or not and um, so this is um the PR company I contacted about this they obviously do loads of different brands it was called um get Cern PR and one of the brands that they um, represent are called Roco Coco Chocolates. Um, I'll just show you that on there. Um, and basically, Roco Coco Chocolates have um, created a limited edition range. The lady who founded the brand um, was really inspired by Roald Dahl um, because her dad bought her a book um, whilst in New York. And it just inspired her love for reading and her love for that author. Um, he bought her, I think... Ooh, I think it was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's what from what I read on. I don't have the um, press release on me, but I think that's what I read. Um, so I'll be reviewing these on my blog. There are eight bars in the um, range, and I've been sent four of them. And they've got this most beautiful packaging with the um, Quentin Blake. Sorry about that. Um, with the Quentin Blake illustrations on the front. Um, so the first one is this Roco Coco Chocolate. Um, this is the Bruce Bog Trotters Chocolate Fudge Cake Bar. Um, I'll also show you the back. If it wants to. It's been a bit of a pain for um, focusing. Um, basically, this is um, a dangerously tempting deep rich um, fudgy chocolate with a little apricot and vanilla. Um, so this is based on, if everyone should know this one, everyone um, knows the famous scene, it's particularly in the um, Matilda film, where um, he's forced by Mrs Trunchbottom to scoff down that chocolate cake. So this is obviously based on that scene from that book. Um, next up um, is the Raw Core 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 Chocolates Raw Dial Bean Cider, which this one looks absolutely delicious. This is obviously um, based on Fantastic Mr Fox which has also been made into a film quite recently. I think George Clooney may have voiced him. Um, this says, ooh, it's foxy, like drinking sunbeams and rainbows, creamy milk chocolate infused with tart apple. And I love like apple crumbles, apple pies. So chocolate and apple sounds like a really nice combination. So I'm really, sorry, I'm a bit sniffly. I think I'm getting a cold. So I'm really looking forward to um, giving this one a go. I believe these bars, I'm not sure where, where else they're available from apart from the Raw Cocoa Coco Chocolates website but I will be writing a review on my blog for them so I'll put all the information there but I believe these are available on their website for £5.95 each. They are an artisan chocolate brand so that's why they're um, pricier but just these are great gifts if someone's a lover of Roald Dahl, they're just a really sweet idea. Um, then there is this one which is Raw Cocoa Coco Chocolates Raw Dahl James's Scrumptious Peach which looks like this. This says creamy white chocolate infused with peaches to surprise 
to end a surprise crunch to transport you on your travels. I'm going to sneeze, sorry. <coughs> oh, I'm really not very well. Um, I've caught this off someone and you know who you are. I give him a sore throat and he's giving me a cold and I'm not happy. Um, anyway, this is based on James and the Giant Peach. So I will, um, if anyone's interested in purchasing any of these products or looking at the brands, I'll pop their links below. Um, I've also got this Raw Coat Cocoa Chocolate Roll Dial, um, George's Marvellous Medicine. Now, this was one of my favourite books as a child. I loved the teacher reading it to you when he's like, I got the shaving foam and I got this out the garden shed and I put this, and I just love, like, the massive list of ingredients that he gathers together to and then his granny ends up coming out of the house like I just like she grows into a giant like I just love it and um, unfortunately this one isn't for me but my mum's gonna give it a try I think because she likes um it's got licorice in it and I really really don't like licorice and um, this is the white chocolate infused with fennel and aniseed giving you deliciously and marvellously medicinal twist Um, I love the packaging but this one's not for me the other ones I will give a go but I'm not a fan of licorice unfortunately so that you know I love in that they look amazing I love the packaging and everything um next up I'll do these ones I've already reviewed these on my blog if you've been over and checked that out recently um I am in love with this brand and to be quite honest I love the brand before they sent me products um and I contacted them again quite recently because um, I've always wanted to work with them and they were like yeah we're happy to send you some products out to review um, I use this anyway it's, it's if for, for you guys that may not have checked my blog out lately it's the Bondi Sands um, Australian tan brand like this is amazing if you want a high street tan which is sort of a mid price range these are about 14 99 you can buy them off Boots Superdrug and they're also available on their own website um, then these are the perfect tan for you because they um you don't get that gingery smell they smell of coconut they've got a gorgeous coconut scent um and they're just an amazing tan like i really really love them um so they sent me their um bondi sands australian tan self tanning foam in light to medium it wouldn't focus this last night so that's it and it's got your pump nozzle on the top and I do use this anyway so I know I love this product then another one which I've steered clear from because I've never ever been a massive fan I mean a lot of people are like oh I hate mousse or I hate this I've never been a huge fan of lotion um because normally tanning lotions are clear and you can't see and it apologizes the dog's back if you can hear them um normally tanning lotions are clear and you can't see them and for me this means i end up a big streaky mess and i just don't like it but when i opened this i was really surprised and it's actually not clear it's oh hang on a minute i'll take this bit off and you'll be able to see it's actually a brown color so you were very unlikely i mean i've tried this out and there is no way you were gonna get any streaks like it, it's pretty amazing um this is again the bondi sands this is their um self tanning lotion if it wants to focus on the product and again this is light to medium because I've got quite a fair um, skin tone so anything darker than this unless I've been um, tanning already is too dark for me um, so that's those and I love them um, next what am I going to do what should I do next I'll do this one these two like odd bits um, I can't remember which PR company this is through. This is through one of the PR companies I've been working with anyway. Um, the brand is called Chrysalis and I believe the stocked at the watch shop. Um, I'll show you what the packaging looks like. It's really pretty. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> <coughs> I do want to have my tissue. I saw I should have brought a tissue with me. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have like a snotty nose for the video and it's not good. Oh that's horrible i'm really sorry i shouldn't do that but i don't have a tissue and i can't get up and go and get one at this moment in time um so i picked out one of their christmas bracelets these are silver plated this is quite hard to see because it's reflective but it's like a snowflake with like little gems in it on this band this unfortunately is a little bit um big for my wrist um, it is adjustable so if you've got a bigger wrist than this then it will adjust to your wrist size but it doesn't go any smaller and I have got 
the thinnest wrist but it fits, fits my mum perfectly so I'll review this on my blog and my mum will probably end up with this as a gift these are £25 each and they do snowmen, gingerbread men, angels um, presents um, snowflakes like this one they also do snowflakes and what was the other one there was another one that I picked out that I liked stars they do stars as well which were really pretty um but they do like the christmasy range but they also have a range of um other really pretty jewelry as well so they're worth a check out um and like i say i believe they're stocked by the watch shop which is um you can get some really good um priced items on there um so next up a brand that i've been working with is catalyst pr um you can see on my eyes are, like cross-eyed because i want to sneeze um and they were kind of, kind enough to ask me if I wanted to review these new makeup brushes. And I've used this brand before. They're called Look Good, Feel Better. Um, they look like this. The packaging's going to reflect. I'm going to take them out and show you them anyway. And this is their um, Flawless Foundation Duo Set. Basically, um, they, they support women with breast cancer. And I'm pretty sure... It's a worldwide cancer charity. So the money goes straight to... Oh, hang on. Bespoke Youth England will donate between 8 to 12% of its wholesale price from this promotional initiative to look good, feel better. The annual donation will be a guaranteed minimum of 30000 so some of the money goes to charity. Um, these brushes are Wonder of Beauty Awards, and I do have a miniature set which I got in a haul a while ago, which was on here. Um, the dog's just knocks them off by the sound of it, you know. You can never get any peace and quiet here. Um, and these are the flawless duo sets. So you get a protective pouch, you get the duo fibre foundation brush and an angled foundation brush. So I'm really interested to give these a go. So this is your angled brush and they're really, really, really soft. Oscar! Then you've got your little pouch. Oscar! Honestly. And then you've got your other brush there. Um, these retail for £17.99 and they are available, um, they were um, only available through Feel Unique and Amazon. I can feel my nose running, I might have to go and get a tissue, I think. Um, it's not very nice, it's cold, it's horrible. And I don't know if I've got any tissue on me. I'm not going to, oh it's fine, I'll be fine, I'll live. <laughs> Sorry guys, but... Right. Um, anyway, yeah, so really looking forward to trying those out. Um, next, you guys may know if you've been watching me. A lot of these brands are brands that I've connected with through going to the events that I went to in London for Christmas in July. And this is one of them. Um, if you've been following my social media, you might have seen some of this stuff already. Um, I'll just... Sorry, it's right at the back of the bed. Oh. Oh, my nose isn't good. Right. I've been working with Aldi, um, they've got a beauty range called the Cura Beauty and it is so budget friendly. Um, they've sent me out their full collection of this skincare range and a load of their makeup to try. Um, the girl that I deal with is called Ellen and she's absolutely lovely. So if you get a chance to watch this Ellen then you know, just put it out there that you're so nice and if I need any help then you're always there to help me out. Um, so this is the QV Real range. These retail for I believe it's £7.99 each and they're a great present because you get three, you can, the £7.99 each but there's three items in the collection and they look really great together and they look so much more expensive than £7.99. So this is the QV Real skincare with um, intensive, uh, with QT40, intensive 24 hour cream mousse. These are great for mums, great presents for mums. They're a little bit, maybe, um, I mean, I would use this one. There's one of them here that's an anti-aging product um, and I would maybe um, give that to my mum to use but I've definitely been using this and it's amazing. Um, the packaging just looks so pretty and expensive. It's in a little pot and then it's got a little spoon with it as well and your instructions and everything. So that's that one. Next up I've got their um, QV Rail Skincare with QT40 Luminous Serum Concentrate. And this is a really nice and this really posh bottle. Um, and this is their skin serum. And then another QV Rail product. I've got their, I think this is the one for anti-aging 
yeah, can increase skin hydration, improve skin smoothness 20, after 20 day, 8 days of use. This is the QVRL Skincare with QT40 um, Neck and Decolletage Mousse. And again, this is in this beautiful, beautiful bronze packaging. I really, really like this. Looks really expensive as well, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and then they sent me a load of their makeup because I asked for a couple of you some of their makeup. I'm so sniffly, it's in my head. Right. I tried to film this yesterday, so a lot of this stuff came in boxes and I've unboxed it and got rid of the packaging because I don't have room for it in my bedroom. So first up, there's this Lacura Beauty Mineral Powder. I don't have prices for these. I will try and put links below. If not, it'll be in my blog review for you. Um, so this is number 200 Savannah. Then I've got one of their brow products, which I've actually used one of their brow products today and I'm quite happy with the way my brows look. This one's too light for me, so I will be passing this one on to someone um, who has got lighter brows. This is their eyebrow pencil. You get um, a spoolie thing on one end, you get the pencil on the other, and you also get a sharpener with it. And these, I'm sure, are all under like £5, which is amazing. Um, I also got their eyeliner, which come in the same packaging. You get like a little smudger to smoke your eye out on one end, your black eyeliner, and then again, you also get your um, sharpener, which is amazing. Um, then there, I swear by these mascaras. I've tried one of their other ones, which was in my monthly favourites, and this is their Lacura Beauty Volume Sensational Mascara. This also comes boxed. And then I'm going to give these a go, but I'm not a massive fan of stick concealers. But the biggest thing in fashion, sorry, fashion, the biggest thing in beauty at the moment seems to be colour correcting concealers. And Lacura have launched their own. They've got a pink, a green, and a normal concealer there. Um, so there's the pink one to correct their CC colour correcting sticks. This one corrects dark circles there is I'll show you it there is the green one which corrects redness and then there is your um, everyday concealer and these just twist up which is really nice easy to applicate so that's everything from Lacura um, next up which I was super excited about um, was I went to a event in London with a brand called Popcorn PR and um, Popcorn PR are a PR company which um, have a um, perfume shop under the umbrella of their brands um, so a perfume shop got in touch and were like do you want to review some of the new releases for autumn and um, so I picked a couple of perfumes and um, they sent one of the ones out that I wanted to review and then they sent another um, new launch out which I'm over the moon with um, which is this one and this is in my favourites video it's quite difficult to show on camera but it's the Michael Kors um, Wonderlust perfume. This is 100ml. This is like why I love doing my blogging job. Like to be recognised and to be want like for a brand to want me to review a product such as this. I couldn't afford to purchase this myself. So for a brand to send it out to me to review is just something else. I mean this is an 80, um, 84 pound perfume. And I must admit it is worth every penny one spray and it's on all day and I, I just I'm in love with it and I'm so happy that they sent me it they also sent me the um this one which is Chloe Flower Fleur de Perfume which is a 70ml this is an £82 perfume this is very fresh and florally like I say all of these these reflect really badly but these will be getting reviewed on my um channel so watch out for those um next from Popcorn PR they also work with a brand which you've probably heard of, which are called Walkers, not the Crisps, the shortbread company. Um, they normally create shortbread, but they've got a range of biscuits which they let me pick out some flavours. There's 76 boxes for me to review. So there is these which my dad's already been into and said they're really tasty. Walkers white chocolate and raspberry. There is the Walkers Treacle Toffee, which these were in place of another flavour that weren't in stock. I don't really like Treacle Toffee biscuits, but my granddad will love these. And then there is the um, Crispy Toffee, which have got chocolate on the back. These look absolutely delicious. And then there is the Hazelnut Chunk, which I love hazelnut and nutty biscuits. So looking forward to those. Oh my God, go away. <coughs> sorry guys these ones which i oh i nearly devoured the full packet last night the extremely chocolatey ones they're so like chocolatey and chunky and oh they're just unbelievable i love them they're gorgeous i'm not sure on prices on these so i'll pop information below and then the oat flake and honey which i imagine are going to taste a little bit like hobnobs 
So those are the six boxes that what, um, that company sent me and I'm really looking forward to reviewing those on my vlog also. Right, next up is a brand again which I attended an event in London. Um, I'm really sorry about snorting, it's not very ladylike, I don't normally do it and it's just that I can't get up and get a tissue because I don't want to walk away from you guys and I haven't got long left to film this video. I'm not going to go into too much details in these because I have promised Bayless and Harding a um, individual gift guide where I will be opening up all of these products and showing you what's inside, what you're getting for your money and where you can purchase them from because they're an amazing brand. Um, so first up I got to choose what I wanted out of their gift guide and this is going to reflect really badly but this is the Bayless and Harding Wild Blackberry and Apple Luxury Bath um, Shower Cream. This smells unreal. It's like it just reminds me of winter like a crisp winter morning it's absolutely gorgeous i love it um then they sent me i tried to choose like one thing from each of their ranges so this is their skin spa you get like three products for your body um and then a little loofah this is like um a, a, obviously like a spa night in tin basically is what, what it says it in a aromatherapy spa night in tin so i got that then I picked the um, delicious donut shop bath treats because I'm really into my sweet things. You get um, obviously some like donut themed products in here. So I picked that one. Then I got another um, one of these bottles but this is a um, shower body wash um, and this is the Midnight Fig and Pomegranate. Then I got a candle because they also do, do homeware items um, and this is the Bayless and Hardin Sweet Mandarin and Grapefruit and I think this is really sweet with this little Christmas topper on it and it smells really really fresh as well, I really like it. And then I got these three little crackers because I couldn't resist because these are just the cutest things ever. And you could split these up and give them as like individual stocking fillers. You can give them as gifts. You could put them on your table as a different type of cracker. I just really like them. I think they're really sweet. Right, last brand, which I just want to give a special mention to because this is like crazy. Basically, um, I met a brand in London again when I went to an event which were called Simply Chocolate. Um, they're an artisan chocolate brand from um, Copenhagen. And they've shipped this stuff from Copenhagen. There, I think there is only John Lewis that um, stocks these products in the UK. They've basically sent me their full Christmas range and this is why I wanted to refilm this video to give you a real good in detailed look at these products because you couldn't really see properly um, on my other video. So to start with, think Christmas in a chocolate because this is it you put this in your mouth and you think it's christmas day i nearly died when i tried these the other day i couldn't get over it you asked my mum. i was like what this is christmas i just i just it, it's the taste of christmas it, it's what you would imagine christmas tastes like these are called dusty santa walnuts and strawberries powdered with cinnamon obviously if you don't like nuts you're not going to like these but the, the cinnamon it just it's like it just brings me to christmas day it really does it's amazing um and these i believe are eight pounds a tub then they sent me three boxes of their chocolates which vary in price um i can't remember the exact prices for these but i know john lewis do stock these and they've got these beautiful wonderland prints on this one you can't really see because it reflects off the camera but it says oh baby it's cold inside and then they've got these little um sealy stickers on which say point of no return so once you've opened it you can't go back um so the mini box contains 12 then there's the medium size box which has got um, the magic of christmas written on the front and this has got 24 chocolates in um and then this has slid out a little bit this one i'll just and then there's this one which says christmas is a state of mind and this has 36 chocolates in i'm pretty sure these range from um 14 pounds upwards um they are quite a pricey brand but they're well worth the money because they're an artisan chocolate brand so the flavors that you're getting in their chocolates are completely different to what you would usually expect from chocolate and then i got two jars of their um glass two of their glass jars this says um it's not hang on it's not what you get it's what you give and, and it's in this beautiful like reusable jar and it's um Icelandic licorice with white chocolate raspberry and licorice and acai powder. This is my worst nightmare. But I do know my mum loves licorice and my granddad. So um, I will be getting those to, them to try this and then I'll be reviewing it on my blog. Um, I might actually do 
just a little individual video on their um, products as well for you guys. Um, this is their, it says, um, thanks God it's Xmas, thank God it's over. These are £17 each. Um, roasted almonds with white chocolate and black currant powder. These sound really, they're like really unique flavour profiles, which I find really interesting. So loving those. And then I've got two of their advent calendars. They contain the same items. These are um, £25 each. And there's the beautiful um, Christmassy landscape one, which just says Christmas calendars for chocolate lovers um you open it up here i don't really want to open these but they've got the numbers on the inside and they've got little chocolates in them and these are you get 30 chocolates 30 mixed pieces of chocolate inside of these if you're not a nutty lover or a licorice, licorice lover i would maybe avoid particularly nuts because a lot of their chocolates have nuts and licorice in them um, and then they sent me, this has got exactly the same things in them, but it's just a different version of it. This again says chocolate, um, calendar for chocolate lovers. And on the top, hey, hey, size matters. <laughs> so, and then you've got your silvery numbers on the back. So that is amazing. And that comes shipped all away from Copenhagen. No doubt I will be doing more of these videos. I know people love to watch them. And obviously, um, I'm going to have a lot of posts coming through with it being Christmas. So, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to go and like out. Uh, like and subscribe to other social media if that's something you're wanting to do and if you're new here then you know hit the subscribe button I do try to post once a week sometimes I post two three times a week it just depends on what I'm up to but I really appreciate all your guys support and thanks for watching Mwah!